weather does not know what it's doing today, man. It's a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. I'm out here in a t-shirt, freezing. Yeah, we're in Streatham today. Um, gonna go through some heat and wiring. We will be taking out a programmer stat um, to clear some clutter to make the kitchen look a lot neater once it's tiled. And uh, be swapping out for a nest. So uh, yeah, I'll go through exactly what I'm doing. Get it done. Get it installed. We'll probably. Replace the wire and center and eating it all upstairs. Right, so we've isolated that board. Show you what we're getting into. So basically, So what we're trying to do is get rid of this. Let's pull this off. So as you can see in here, that some electricians, not so much that, that some electricians worst nightmare. Um, so essentially what they've done is we've got there's a wiring center upstairs in the air and cupboard which I'll show you guys um, but we've got here feed coming in from this, from this spur uh, we've also got the flex which goes up out here to the boiler um, and then we have our cables going up from the programmer to the wiring center to turn on you know, your hot water and your central heating zone valves. Um, and then you've got a switch line back down um, to cool for heat at the boiler. Um, so I'll go through this in a minute. But I put this on a few years back. It's now stopped working. It just says off. It's dead. It's not responding to anything. Um, so what we're going to hopefully do, there is some wires behind there. I'm pretty sure there's a three quad goes from there upstairs. Um, so yeah, we'll whip this off and we'll see what's there. Alright, what have we got? So this is battery powered. That has like a volt free contact. So it doesn't use um, any mains power. It's just taking the two cores from the programmer saying, right, I'm calling for heat, comes down to the stat, says, are you satisfied or not? The stat will say, no, I'm not satisfied. Close the contact, send the call to heat to the zone valve, which then once that's open, will then send the call for heat to the boiler. Right. So as you can see, two batteries in there. And then let's get this off. Bear with me one second, postman. Yeah, all right. Bloody hell, you know you're trying to do some work and your mum's come back with food shopping. Now I've got to help out like I'm 14 years old again. Let me deal with this guys, I'll be back. A few minutes later. I'll give it to you. Oh no. Slim. That's got your name on it. You must have given it to her and she don't want it, so she'd give it back to you. No, I bought this for her. Oh, you bought it for her? Yeah. Mum, I still can't find the yoga mat and it's pissing me off. Oh, the yoga mat? It it's down I the mean, side there. Why would it be there? I don't know, but I knew where it was. It's logical to be between the bloody fridge and the cabinet. I knew where it was. Why does it oh, need it's stairs? It's just not. Where it belongs. Yeah, record this. Uh, just come here. Can, come the quicker on. you come, the quicker it's over. Oh, this is going to do me. Okay, now. Where was I? I said you were going to grab it. I wasn't sure what time you were going to grab it. She doesn't really think very 
I did it. Count she doesn't put things back where they belong. She doesn't communicate. It's just the way it goes. Right, so we had <coughs> ground, switch line, and live. So, up from the, I guess that is the airing cupboard, I'll go and check. But we've got switch line of one pair, and that should come in from another pair. So, if those are going up to the wiring center, hopefully we can put the nest, the nest up there and reuse these to pick up the pick up the um the nest that right ready got the unit lights set up in here this is what we've got so we've got wiring center here it's been replaced in the past um honeywell unit a bit loose um but then yeah, we've got zone valve, zone valve, pump, cylinder tank stat, which is a bit broken and I know that. Should be around there. Frig knows what else is going on now, I think they've got it's like a pump for shower. Yeah, so let me get this set up and I will uh yeah, we'll take take this apart. awkward angle I'm getting burnt by hot pipes in here and this unit light even though it's on the lowest setting is bright as in the same wave right I'm gonna be honest with you I'm just gonna strip this out no point in trying to work out what's going on strip it out obviously you know what these are because they're coming from, yeah, we know what these are because we can see. So for example, that there is the cylinder stat. So I think following this, because I've had to help out a few sparks recently, we'll go through heating wiring. Um, We'll do a little series and go through different scenarios, different wiring plans, with underfloor heating, manifolds, etc., etc. Using various different types of equipment, difference between you know using nest stats to achieve control or using you know heat miser and UH fours and UH eights and stuff like that. Um, different types of boilers, i.e., twenty four volt. Um, 24 volt um, <clears throat> room stat connection and stuff like that um, recently had a, a friend of mine who looking at the uh, the wiring diagrams for a boiler it says 24 volt um, and he spoke to the, the manufacturer and they couldn't even help him and he ended up putting a 24 volt driver in to supplied a boiler with a feed um, just because he wasn't too too clued up on the connections for the boiler and the fact that it actually gave him 24 volt supply and they just needed to use a volt free contact to switch it over so yeah we'll go through that so at the minute I'm just getting rid of the uh, zone valves and again once I put these back in, we'll talk about what all the cores do and that sort of stuff there. But right now I know that I've taken out my pump, my two zone valves, and my, come on Ben, get with it, cylinder stat. So what I've got left in here will be feed, cables from downstairs, cables from the stat. Um, so again, I'm not too fussed about what they are. We'll get them all bailed out and we will sort this all out. So let's just remove 
Now when a lot of people ask me, a lot of electricians or even plumbers ask me, oh, how do I get my head around you know, the wiring for a heating system? A time is very, very similar to plumbing. If you've ever played one of those games where you've got loads of pipes and there's the pipes are in different orientations and there's water coming through the pipe and you've got to set the pipes up so the water flows through. It's the exact same kind of situation. Um, the electricity needs to flow through the circuit to you know, do what it wants to do. So for example, from the feed, it's gonna go to the programmer. You know, the programmer then says, okay, do you want hot water or central heating? You know, for hot water, for example, it then goes from hot water to the cylinder stat. The cylinder stat says, yes, I'm hot enough and doesn't go any further or says, no, I'm not hot enough. So lets the electricity through goes to the zone valve which then says right open up zone valve opens up once it's got this open position the electricity flows through and comes out of the orange cable which then goes to the boiler and says right fire now when the boi boiler fires everything is ready in that circuit for that hot water for that hot water out of the boiler to go to the tank an exact same scenario with the central heating just the zone valve will be doing a different thing and diverting the water somewhere else. So that same principle. Right, nearly there with this. Let me finish getting this all off. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back and we will start belling out cables and get the new wiring center on here, which is a nice big one. Damn, these three fibers are long. Such an awkward... Ugh. Oops, lost that one. Right, so here we have it. Let's try and get this grommet back in properly. There we go. Cool. Let me go and get my two my two instruments to help us work out what these cables are, where they go. And yeah, I'll meet you down at the other end and we'll get things sorted. So upstairs we know we've got two free cores and they must come here. One of the other three cores was bringing switch line down from the zone valves and weirdly they decided to use the neutral on that three core and not connect the blue on that three core. Oh, oh well. It worked for god knows how many years. Right, we've got five cores here connected to the flex and boiler. So we'll also drop the boiler just to see what those flexors are doing. But I know that, that is the feed from that box there. That's the flex going to the boiler. And then we've got I'd say that these are all going up to the airing cupboard. Yo, you had this boiler cover off. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Right, time to get a multi tool out. Chop it up.
right so in the boiler we've got live neutral earth but then what it also does it gives off a live return you can use these you don't have to it just depends on how people wire it some people have got the feeds going straight to the boiler then you come off the boiler to the rest of the heating controls um, so what we're going to do in this instance, because of the cable that we've got, we're not going to use uh, the power supply coming back out of the boiler. Um, what we're going to do is just use, uh, is just give it its live return. So what we're going to do is we need feed here from the spur. So then what we're going to do is join that onto live neutral earth for the boiler. And now one of these cores here will be used for switch line back um, so we will take one of these three cores and we will use uh, you know live neutral earth and then look we'll use the yellow here as a switch line and jump onto the yellow of that flex that's all that's needed there and what that will do that will take power for us up to the up to the wiring center and it will allow us to bring our, our switch line back down to the boiler to to fire and then ultimately this three core and earth and this twin and earth won't be used once we've got power up to the wiring center everything else gets done from there so we'll get this made off terminated and then we'll move upstairs right in here no way you're going to get in there with any type of snips look at that Look at that, easy as that, easy as that. It's just that one there, it's so that one, with that. No longer in use, okay. Now this pair here, go down to our stat. So I know I need a pair for the nest thermostat. So I will go downstairs and again, bell out a pair, and now I need them for the nest stat. Everything else here will get added back in, i.e. the zone valves and the links from the wiring center to the nest receiver. So yeah, let me go and get these ready to bell out. So to bear it out, we're going to join the earth and the line conductor. So when we go upstairs and put continuity between those, and we get a beep, you know it's that cable. The ones that don't give us a beep are those, and they won't be used, be left in the back of the box. Let's go back upstairs. Right. Not that one. So that means... There we go, that one's in use, and that one, not in use. That's our feed, and that's our link down to the stat. So um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go downstairs, close everything up down there, um, including getting the nest stat on the wall, connected up to these cables here. And yeah, once it's all down upstairs, I'll come up here, get the wiring center fitted over, bring these cables through, get all the other bits wired in, Get our nest receiver on top, and jobs are good. Un. Let's go. Yeah. So what we'll do, we'll just put these all in a way go because it's an unused cable. And that is cool to be left in the back of that box. Now this. We all know when we're in college, they say don't put on the earth. We all do it though. Sound, I'll get that one earthed to the back box. Right, 
So as you can see, let's put that back in there. That is too small for it to fit on there. So what we're gonna do, we've got an old light switch that we're taking off from the kitchen. And use it as a backing plate to get the nests that mounted onto that switch. Those two are in use, these ones aren't. So even though they're not in use, we'll just sleeve them just so in case in the future, if they ever get used, they're ready to be put into service. And I guess what as well it proves, well, what it would prove to me is, is why I do it, is that the cable can't be live. Because if all three cores are connected in a way though, that's dead short and no circuit would hold, which proves that can't be a live cable. But I mean, not everyone thinks that way, but yeah. Cool, so those are in the back. What we've got is this wiring center from Time Guard. Now, a lot bigger than the Honeywells, as you can see, that'll fit over there nice. Boom. screws in that get these into their positions and we'll go from there I'll take all these links out forget the numbers and I'll just terminate them wherever I feel best for for neatness um, and I'll run you through how the system works yeah let me go get some screws drill get that mounted and then we'll start getting these cables in and bringing in the four cables from the But yeah, let's get these tail strips a bit longer to give us enough room to dress and uh, we'll get these in and then we'll get the pump and the cylinder stacking at the same time. Um, so yeah, rule of thumb for me is, is again, one they teach you in college, diagonal. That will then, you know, look, give you more than enough room, look, to dress even to the furthest point. Surely at a horizon, yeah. Look at that, look at that, easy as that. And then, we know that we're not gonna pull that all the way. There's a little blade on here. Get it there, pull that all the way down, and then split it open. Whoops, split it open. That's it. Okay, we good. Up, turn it up! Oh, look at that. That might be a bit better. Let's see how long that lasts us. Later that same evening. I had to pop out, so I put the cover back on this, even though it's dead. So that's where we are at the minute. 
we've got the call for heat to the boiler and the pump all linked out at the top here so all we've got left now to put in is the nest so I'm gonna knock out this one here and I'll bring the two cables up through here so in total we have seven cores to connect two being T1 and T2 from the thermostat just get this mounted here on this back wall. We've got live neutral earth, and then we've got the two for the hot water and the central heating. Oh, that moves. Oh, that moved again. But from I, oh, again, this cupboard is such a ball ache. Done. Tell you what, nothing ever goes to plan on camera. Nothing. One twist. Pull up. Let's go. Here we go. Done. We'll sort those out. So that is it we are done um so yeah that's the program that's been removed from the kitchen and we stuck everything upstairs out of the way in the airing cupboard so we can have a quick look so i've done that to allow him to tile around and not get any muck in the box and then we can put a blank plate on that so yeah gets rid of that program that was sitting there Lovely little strip here from Northern LED. Beautiful. Um, and we'll get more LED strip around here. Probably on the next visit once these have been grouted. And yeah. There she is in all her glory. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Let me know what you did like, what you didn't like in the comments below um, and yeah we'll catch you in the next one peace <laughs>